Peace, peace, my Aries Collective. What it do? It's your brother, man, say I knew. Right? This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Nodian folk. What's good? All right, we are back to do our readings, right? We talking to God, right? We speaking it out. It is Zodiac Cycle, right? As of yesterday, right? So we got about 24 hours. No, actually... It's a little bit more than that, but yeah, it's Sebex cycle, y'all. All right, so, uh, you know what I mean? We ain't going to talk about it too much. We're going to lay it all out because we're trying to, you know, conserve one time, right? Conserve on a little bit of my rambling. Y'all know how I do, right? So, uh, 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 we're going to get right into this, right? I'm going to do all the readings. I'm going to lay them all out, and I'm going to read them all at once. With that said, here we go. Let us see what God is talking to you, my Aries. Okay. Sekar Tuchas comes out. Sekar Tuchas in the spot. Whoa. All right, put that there. And we got my Amentemat. Alright, Sekar Tuchas. I'm in Tamaat. Okay. Sekar Tuchas. I'm in Tamaat. <clears throat> Sometimes I put that Tim with the T and we all got it. Now y'all know how I work here. You know what I mean? If you've been around and you know, <laughs> you know I got the angel script, right? So you know y'all gotta get with it. So you know what I'm saying? They're gonna make this a course of study one day, one of these days. Watch. Alright, so go into the Yichin. So we got second two chas. I'm in Tamai Yichin. Let's do it. We got open. Open, 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 close, open, open, close, open, open, stress, open, open, stress, open, 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 stress, open, all right. We got the 15 into the 39. 15 into 39. Situation here. All right, 15 hexagram. Fifth line is stress into 39. I'm going to show y'all in a minute. All right, let's see what the tarot talk about. Okay, we got the five of wands in the re. Five of wands in the reverse, y'all. Right, we got the empress in the reverse. Five of wands in the empress is in the re. Okay. All right, let me write it down real quickly here. Five of wands in the re. We got the empress. In the re. Okay, nothing else really. Those are the two main issues that's going down here. Okay, so the five of wands is in the re, couched by the empress in the re. So this empress in the re tells me that this is a situation where somebody is in their conditionings. <laughs> I'm, don't mind me laughing, y'all. I sometimes I when I make connections, I start it's like an aha moment. That's how I start laughing. Um, 
So, yeah, man, Empress is in her conditions, right? She is someone who used to have love, right? She used to be like this, right? She used to have a lot of love somewhere there, but now she's like this, right? She's not having love. So that couches the situation, right? And what are we looking at is the five of wands, right? This is conflict. This is somebody bringing the conflict in the upright, right? This is like a conflictual situation. Somebody is coming at your neck, right? But it's in the reverse. So this could be a backfiring, right? This could be someone taking a new attitude, a new tact, right? Whereas before they was coming at somebody's neck, now maybe they're taking a new tact. They are, uh, you know, trying not to be so conflictual. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. And this is underneath the couch of an empress who's in the reverse, right? So, you know, that's that's a couple ways to look at it, right? But let's go back in the reading, right? Let's go to the Seker to Chas, right? Seker to Chas is, you know, a need for limitation, applying a limitation on something, right? Waiting, right? Applying a limitation on your forward go, right? Stalling, right? Uh, you know, there being obstructions in the way, right? Things like this, right? You know, calming down, right? You know, throw a sucker on Aries, right? And that's about calm down, like, you know what I mean? Aries can be, you know, pretty wily and feisty kind of situation, right? Amentem, okay? So this is like limit your, you know, amentem, your conditionings. Put a limitation on... You know, it's conditioning. You know, your, you know, Aries have a tendency, to, like I said, to be forward with it. So probably this is a little, something about, you know, putting a limitation on that condition. Okay. We got the 15 going into the 39. Let's see. Let's see. Right. The 15 is about modesty. Right. Being modest, humble. Okay. Aries is not. One, you know, who is known for the humility piece, right? So, you know, what is this talking about? What are we talking about here? Uh, okay. All right. So, fifth line says, You do not have to make your wealth or great credentials known in order to make your influence felt. Even if you are involved in a grand or dangerous enterprise, be firm in modesty. Even if you're criticized by others, do not, or who, other, by others, <laughs> let me run it back. Even if you are criticized because others do not know your credentials, the truth will speak for itself. Okay, so this is about maintaining your modesty. You don't have to brag about, I got this, I got that, right? This is about calming it down, right? Again, Aries is very much, you know, that one to be out in the front with theirs, right? Aries tends to be, you know, there's elements of immaturity sometimes with that Aries because, it, you know, it's the first zodiac, right? It's in that those, those first three are kind of like the young boys in the crew. You know what I mean? You know, I, I, you know, don't come at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> There's a level of immaturity sometimes there, right? But it, this forces you, or not forces you, this causes you to sometimes, you know, puff out your chest a little bit. Sometimes be wanting to be seen because your energy is already up, right? And you don't know how to play it easy, right? You don't know how to fall back sometimes. So this is telling you, Secker that, right? Put a limitation on some of that, right? Amentem, right? These are your conditioning. These are your, the negative side to that condition of Aries that you have, right? Y'all have a tendency to sometimes not, you know, not be uh, humble. So you got the modesty, right? Modesty is what you what's called for right now. Something is causing you to calling you to be modest, right? And you know, again, back to this fifth line, you know. You don't have to make your wealth and your, you know, credentials known. You can be easy. You don't have to go in talking about, yeah, I got so much, I got this much money. Or, you know, I'm such and such position, right? Or, you know, this is my business, da 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 You don't have to be all like that. You know what I'm saying? Other people are going to see it if you just be easy, right? 
That's what it's saying here. Going into the 39, impediments. You're going to create impediments for yourself in the minds of others if you roll that way, right? Five of Wands, right? Reversing your conflictual stance, right? Reversing the conflict. Or the conflictual uh, stance backfiring, right? And pressing the reverse, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's some, you know, something about some hate, you know, somebody hating on something. <laughs> Why well, I keep talking about hate with this airy stuff? I don't know. But somebody hating on something. You know what I mean? And they need to, like, get up out of their conditionings because it ain't that deep. Something is telling me it ain't that deep, you know? But, yeah, this is what it is, folks. I don't know if I do this, right? My angel script. Check it out. <laughs> right? All right. So, yeah, man, pretty much that's it, Aries. You know, step down off your high horse. Right? Be a little bit humble, you know what I mean? You know, come down to earth with the rest of us. And, you know, we all be harmonious, you know what I'm saying? You know, 39, you know what I mean? Don't bring those obstructions, those imp impediments. Don't bring those upon yourself by being your normal, airy self, right? Your arrogant self, right? Your, you know, right? You know, curb the conditionings, right? Fall back, put a... Lock on those conditionings, right? All right, so that's it, pretty much. We summed that up very quickly, right? Uh, and that's a good thing. You don't want me rambling too much. All right, and Sebek Psycho. <laughs> All right, so peace and love, y'all. Listen, if you like the video, you like the video, right? Uh, comment, make a comment. Say, hey, what's up? Say, what's good? You know, uh, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Y'all know what to do. Help me out here. All right? Um, with that, we're going to say peace and love. We're going to do it next cycle.